So pretty much everybody knows me. I'm Beth. I'm the administrator in Gulfport. I've been the administrator for about 40 years. And um, and I love what I do. If you would have told me I was going to do hospice work a long time ago, I would have said never. I can't do that. People who do that, I don't know how they do that. They're amazing. They're just, and they are. And so it's been a very, very rewarding position for me um, with a very rewarding company, a mom and pop company, not a corporation, somebody who genuinely cares about the patients that they serve and about the people who work there. And um, so this week in particular, I don't even know if anybody else realizes this, but marks 52 weeks or one year that we've been hosting these prayer motivational meetings because Friday marks the anniversary of my mom's death. And it started that Thursday, a year ago, April 23rd, when my mom passed away and Dr. Kula called me and I was sitting by her bedside and she was deceased. And my brother was there with me and we were in the unit in um, Gulfport. And he said, Beth, I just got a few people on the line. I'd just like to pray with you. And it meant, I can't even tell you what it meant to me. It meant the world to me. And it means even more the world to me that we have continued this because we always talk about, you know, numbers, numbers, numbers. we got to get our numbers up. And we do. We do. Absolutely, we do. But I think what I'm even more proud of being part of the Canon team is the fact that we have come together as a team and we are able to pray and we are able to thank God for the blessings that he's given us, for the jobs that we have for us in the chaos of all of this pandemic when such unknown was known in the world we've never missed a paycheck and you know so i'm just very thankful that i'm part of this family i'm very thankful for dr akula that he has kept this thing going and i'm very thankful for the people that i work with and the support that i've had and most importantly i'm very thankful for the love that i've been given and I'll, i have a video that i want to share and um but before that, I want to ask you a question, and it's, um, what's in the name? I've kind of wrote some notes, and most of you would never know my mother's name, and this is my mother in the background right here, <laughs> and um, she was an educator for over 30 years. She prided herself on helping children with learning disabilities and she was not a special education teacher she just went out of her way to go help children with learning disabilities she left her mark on one nfl player who had would have never had the opportunity to even play the game because he would have never had the opportunity to go to college you see he could never mark high enough on his hct score so she worked diligently with him until he made his score upon her death he contacted me and he said I just want you to know that your mom meant the world to me. I, I owe it all to her. And I told him, I said, no, you don't. You did the work. That is just part of her legacy. That is what she wanted to do. She wanted you to succeed. And the same with me. She has instilled work values, family values, a love thy neighbor attitude, um, self-worth. She taught me to love the Lord with all my heart. And that is her legacy with me. So I encourage everyone on this today to dig deep and find out what you want your legacy to be and start working on that today because we're not promised tomorrow. Um, in this video by, by Brian Bullock that we're going to see, it's about your legacy and what's in a name. And he motivates me and inspires me just like a lot of you do. And so when I look for that kind of inspiration, I do go to some of his videos. And when I look for inspiration in the workplace, I do come to some of you, and I thank you for that. And by the way, before we start the video, my mom's name, as I proudly say it, is Shirley Jean Burrell. Thanks. <laughs> 